I'm going to go back over some of the things Lisa talked about, some of the ways that you'll be able to use the manual when you're selling and bidding um, and estimating a job. To, I try to change my vernacular to say low profile when it comes to flat tile, even though I say flat tile. I try to say low profile because because they're not all flat. When you say flat tile, this is what your homeowner is going to think of and it's what most of us think of. We would call this eight surface low profile. So it's smooth surface, low profile because it has less than a half of an inch of deviation in the surface of the tile. So we call it a low profile. In addition, a tile like the old homestead, the old homestead had a half inch wave in it. That was also a low profile tile, but people wouldn't necessarily consider that flat. So the low profile is more appropriate. There's lines and texture to make it look like shakes. Boral's got a product that has like an imprint of a, of a cedar uh, roof on it. So those are all low profile. Table three shows you that it has less than a half of, a, of an inch of deviation in the surface. That's gonna make it a low profile. Profile, we call them W tiles because typically uh, they are, they're going to have um, two pans and two crowns uh, to make a W, like that tile there. And the ratio, the width to rise ratio of the tile from the surface is uh, less than one to five. High profile tile are typically uh, pan and cap, uh, clay S, concrete S tile are all what we consider high profile tile. There are different requirements uh, that we'll, we'll address as we go through this. For example, a low profile tile in a closed valley when you're bringing the tile together, we're gonna require that you use either multi-rib valley flashing to keep that tile up out of the water flow or a batten extension into the valley to keep that flat tile or low profile tile up out of the water flow. On a high profile tile, like we require bird blocking at the eave where even though medium profile or curvy, we don't require that you put bird blocking there. So high profile, it's required. So that's why it's important to know what your profile is. Another difference in the tile is that some have lugs and some don't. So you can look at this tile. It's got a continuous lug all the way across the top. Some product uh, uh, that come out of their factories in different areas will have two individual bumps or lugs on this tile. The medium profile tile, this is a villa profile. You can see the bump there, right there. That's the lug on the top part of the tile. That's what, what hooks on the batten. And that will place the nail holes right over the batten if it's a tile that has to be fastened. These bumps down here on the bottom, we call them weather checks. So they nest into the previous row. And, and there's two little bumps there. You'll be able to see them. Let's see if I can get that. There. See that little lip there? That's right where your e riser metal will sit. And these weather checks, what they do is they stop the wind from just blowing water straight up. It kind of creates a vortex. So reduces the wind-driven rain from going up there.